Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make categories inside the question bank page on Moodle. Categories are very useful for taking questions you've made and placing them all in a certain place. How you design the categories is up to you. You might put them by subject, you might put them by type of exam, etc. But categories are useful because when you begin making actual quizzes, you can take the information in one category and apply it to the to the quiz and Moodle will do a lot of the formatting for you in terms of placing the questions on an individual page etc etc this will make more sense when we actually make a quiz which is coming up very soon but I wanted to show you the power of making categories because for those of you who are going to be using this extensively category creating categories and placing questions inside categories is a time saving device that you can use in your online teaching and assessment experience. So as you can see here, I'm already logged into Moodle. In this theme off to the right hand side, you have the question bank. It'll take you here automatically. And now what you need to do is you need to go back over here to the question bank and you'll see something called categories. So you click on this. Now there are some default categories that come when you are setting up a course using the, the default features of Moodle. So you have these uh, main categories here. Uh, the math is not default. That's a mistake on my part. But default for English 5000, that's the default for the class. Default for Faculty of Arts and Humanities, that's default because that is the category that this course is in. It's inside the Department of Faculty of Arts and Humanities at the specific uh, university. And then we even have another one, default for second semester 2016-2017. That's another default category under which Faculty of Arts and Humanities is, and you have a default for the system. Generally, I don't recommend messing with these other ones. Of course, it also depends on how Moodle is set up at your specific location. All of us should probably have at least this one at the top here. Um, depending on how your IT people set up the categories for the courses, you may not have these two right here. But generally, I recommend only dealing with the default category for the actual course. Now, having said that, when you want to make a new category, you can probably tell what to do. There's a, you can click Add Category, but don't do that yet. You have to give the category a name. So before that, you have to look at Parent Category. Parent Category is the mother of the category you are making. So uh, you can see here I have several choices here. I can uh, make it, if I click Top, that means that when I create the category, it'll, fall, it'll be equal to, de to uh, default for English 5000. If I click default for English 5000, it'll be indented underneath it one space. See how default for English is indented under top? If I select this as my top category, then whatever I create here will be indented under default for English 5000. That's how it works. And so the top is the highest category. As you can see, I cannot click on course. That's not a choice. So I'm going to make two categories. One that goes under the top, so you can see how that works, and then one that goes underneath default for English 5000, so you can see how it's indented. So, I'm going to call this category Practice Test 1, just for fun. And then I'm going to click Add Category. And you can see right there, notice how Practice, let me make this bigger for you, sorry, a lot bigger. Notice how Practice Test 1 is on the same level as default for English 5000. They're equal in other words. So now I'm going to make a category that is indented one space. So hope you can still see this. Practice, whoops. Practice test two. And now I'm going to make it under default for English 5000. I hope you can see this now. And then I click add category. And so now if you can see closely, you can see that practice test two, I'll make this even bigger. Uh, that giant. Okay, here we go. This is better. So, practice test two. It is now indented under default for English five thousand. That means that it, that English five thousand is its mother. Whereas for practice test math and default for English five thousand, their mother is, of course, the category question categories for course English five thousand experimental course. That is how it works. One other thing you need to see before I show you something else is you can even give if you want the category can have a description you can uh, 
type it right here where you kind of provide information about the category some of the some of the traits of that that is useful for you as you use these courses over and over again and how you may you know want to recall these things one last thing that I would like to show you before we move on or conclude this video is how to move questions from one category to the other we're gonna click leave here okay so these are all questions that I've made in prior videos for those of you who have looked at my videos on how to make Moodle questions and let's just say I want to move all of these questions I can hide I can select them individually like so or I can click all the way right here on the on the T and it'll automatically select all of them so all of my questions are selected and now I have to choose where I want to move them and so I'm going to move them to practice test one so to do that you go right here you see there's a button called move to and then I click practice test one and then I click on move to and as you can see all the questions were moved now if I want to go back to the prior category I go click here default for English 5000 and then voila now notice how there are no questions here anymore that's because I moved them and one other thing that I need to explain is that when you create questions notice how this category is called default when you create questions by default they go into this category now you also need to know that when you make questions you can also actually put them in the category you want while making the question and I will show you that real quick we'll just make a simple just do essay question here and so if you look here at the top categories and so I can put this question I'm making in whatever category I want and then after I'm done making it Moodle will save the question inside that category and so that's one way to save you time again these are things that you learn as you um, develop experience and do things the hard way several times so I hope that this video was useful for you in this video we learned how to make categories inside the question bank for Moodle we learned how to move questions from one category to another and I also showed you how you can while creating a question you can also save it in the new category that you have created also please keep in mind that when you create questions by default they go into the, the, the default for whatever the name of the course is so I hope that this video was useful and I thank you for watching take care